Hey, sup, cutie patooties. Just, you know, here playing with my balls in the ball pit. No biggie. Uh, it's time to throw a little Jerry Curl juice in that motherfucker. A little uh, Bowman juice in that motherfucker. We're going to go ahead and do 2018 Bowman Baseball Jumbo. Full case of it. PYT number... Number five, I think, is, is what it is. Looking like Pinky from Friday. <laughs> That'd be great. It's Pinky, you That would be amazing. All right. Put my teams up. I'm glad we got this filled at a relatively good time. You know, I don't have my eBay breaks until midnight, so this does give uh, meaning to my life here, so thank you. Uh, I will do the $100 giveaway at the end of the break. You know, got to give you a reason to stick around. You know what I'm saying? Say it again. Here we go. You know what? Dude, I was thinking, man. When's the last time you seen like a, like a funny ass movie? Like, I can't remember the last time I went to a movie theater and seen like a really, really funny movie. I like and and I'm not talking about like a stoner movie. You know what I mean? Like a movie that's just funny. By the way, since we don't have the other camera angle, you know, I got the case here. You know, don't want y'all thinking there's funny business. Anyway, Should I pack stack or box by box? I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this up for democracy right now. I I'm I'm partial to opening them all at once, honestly. Role models is probably the like the last like really funny movie I remember watching like in a movie theater. You know, fuck it. Let's go box by box. You guys remember watching uh, Role Models? Pretty fucking hilarious. You're excited about Venom? You, um, obviously, you saw the trailer. I believe that comes out this year? Bad Teacher's a good movie. Hell yeah. You know what also movie looks pretty good, man? Deadpool 2, bro. Deadpool 2 is going to be amazing. Oh, Cameron, dude. Cameron Diaz was her finest in the mask. That's when Cameron Diaz was like, oh my God. But she still looks like, she still looks pretty good. But in the mask, she was in her purest form. I like the role in Bad Teachers, though. And she's still a babe. Something about Mary, fucking amazing movie. I don't know, I don't know, Michael. In The Mask, she was like, that's, first of all, maybe it's because she was so young. And her face was still so clean, you know? From the, uh, when, you know what, let me, let me not say that. Incredibles 2 looks good. You know, I don't want to throw that one out there because... I shouldn't, but when the first Incredibles came out, I was still a kid. So, fuck yeah. Pretty excited about that one, too. Deadpool looks really good, though. There's a Doctor Doom movie coming out. Uh, Cameron Diaz or Aniston? Man, I don't know on that one. 
I think I'm I think uh, I think I'm gonna go Aniston. I think I'm gonna I don't know about by far. I don't know if I could, you know, piggyback off of Ziggy there. But I'm I'm gonna say Aniston. But not by far, but Anna. I'm gonna go Aniston. Mainly because I feel like Aniston has aged a little bit better than Diaz. But yeah. Justin Williams to 150 for the Rays. Plus, have you guys seen Aniston in that movie Horrible Bosses? Oh my god. I don't know, Michael. Have you seen that movie that I'm talking about just now? That might change your mind on uh, on Aniston. Ooh, I got a good one. Let's make this a triple threat match. Cameron Diaz, um, Aniston, or Peter Parker's new aunt. I forget her name. She was in. She was in my cousin Polly. Or my cousin Vinny, I mean, damn, Marissa, Marissa Tomei. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick Marissa Tomei over Aniston and Diaz. Uh, I made a, I made a, uh, I made a, uh, uh, what you call it, an audible. Ibandel Isabel for the Dodgers first auto. Ziggy Bowles, you would still pick Aniston over Marissa Tomei? Damn. That is some, uh, that's some dedication right there. That is a gentleman's, <laughs> a gentleman's choice. Nicky Delmonico, rookie auto for the White Sox. There you go, Michael. My first pair was probably that chick from Titanic. Good times. Nicky Delmonico, White Sox, right there. I don't know how old Marissa told me is, but good golly, Miss Molly. I'd do some things to that lady. Boy, I tell you. But um, yeah, Nicole Aniston or whatever her name is, she's aged really well. Cameron Diaz, mm, not so much. Marissa Tomei, on the other hand, like she's sipping from the from the fountain of youth for show. She's sipping from something. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what I that's that's all I want in life. You know what I'm saying? Just just a chick period. Oh god, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Yeah, see you had to see you had to throw that one in there. See, I'm picking Jennifer Love Hewitt over over everybody. Over all the women we've mentioned. But the, but that's because Jennifer Love Hewitt has that X factor, or I should say the double D factor. Khalil Lita four ninety nine factor for the Royals. Jennifer Love Hewitt, oh my God! See now nah, we're talking nineties babes, Tomas. We're talking nineties babes. Charlotte McKinney for sure can get it, but she's not a nineties babe. She's like a twenty ten babe. We're we're talking strictly nineties babes right now. I nominate, damn, I forgot her name already. <laughs> I'm going to nominate Jennifer Love Hewitt. Thank you, Fitz, or I should say uh, Freak of Nature. Great call. <laughs> Let me dust off my game real quick. <laughs> Let me go. Let me go to the old sperm bank, Shannon Shannon Dougherty. I don't know who that is. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I don't know who that is, but it does sound familiar. Oh, 
Oh, Michael, wow. And you were giving me shit earlier? And you're talking about that? Wow. Hottest 90s cartoon? I'm going to have to go Lola Bunny. I'm going to go Lola Bunny. And Space Jam? Oh, man. See, I didn't watch 90210. What, what, what other show was she? I think... Was she like a witch or something? Or was she like you guys are like you remember watching like it was a show where there was like three girls and they were all kind of hot? Jessica Rabbit. That's a porn star, ain't it? Shohei Otani, paper base for the Angels. No, I'm thinking about Jessica Robin. Never mind. Look that up by the way, fellas. Uh the char that's right. She was in charms. Okay, I think I need to talk about. Lola Bunny, you could bring home the mom and dad. This is true. But you know what they say about rabbits. You know who you know what's another chick? Oh see I can't really do Sofia Vergara, Tomas. Cause she reminds me of one of my aunts. And I and I just I can't do it. I can't do it. Ziggy Bowles, I told you we get weird in here, dog. What movie is that? What Jessica Rabbit? Is that who framed Roger Rabbit? Right? That's where that's from, right? Was that 90s or 80s? I could have sworn that was like 80s. Man, Jennifer Love Hewitt was a babe, though. Oh, God. Salma Hayek, which was the cousin of Salam Hayek, was pretty hot, too. Salam Hayek was pretty hot, but Salma Hayek? Oh, man. Oh, man. I remember when I first seen her. I, first movie I seen her in, I think, was that... Uh, it was a scary movie. I think it was, you know... What, nah, not Dawn of the Dead. But it was like a vampire movie or something like that. And then I got to see Salma Hayek's, you know what I'm saying? And, oh, my God. Uh, Kevin, uh, veteran base cards don't ship. So, like, this card won't ship, that card won't ship, but rookie card ship, um, what else? The first Bowman ship, uh, but veteran paper base does not. Everything else does. Oh, Desperado, I forgot about that one. It was, it was a Tarantino movie with the vampires, but I can't remember the name of it. George Clooney was in it too. Speaking of George Clooney, that Ocean's 8 movie that's coming out where it's like all chicks looks pretty good too. Those Ocean's movies are pretty awesome. Like the Ocean's 11, 12, and 13. If you haven't seen them, highly suggest. From Dusk to Dawn. That's right. Oh, God. Such a good movie. A little scary when I was a kid, but I got over it as soon as I seen Salma Hayek. And only to get fucking horrified when she turned. That was probably the first time I ever got blue balls. It's all about that girl power, real American. Girl power, man. Andres Jimenez for the Mets. Oh, we're talking movie babes today, boys. All right. Damn, what's another hot chick from the 90s? Denise fucking Richards. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Freaking nature's on it today. First he hit me with the Jennifer Love Hewitt, and then he slaps me upside the head with Denise Richards. Who, like, honestly, was so hot. Pam Anderson, whatever. Like, yeah, she was hot too, but, you know what I'm saying? Like, eh. I, I, seen, I seen everything there is there. I see, with, uh, like, with these other girls, there's, like, the mystique still of not knowing what it looks like. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Cindy Crawford is still fine. Cindy Crawford is an is a 80s babe, a 90s babe, a 2000s babe, a 2010 babe. And a babe uh, right now. 
Cindy Crawford, I don't know how she's done it, but she still remains gorgeous. And like, I think her, I think her daughter is also into modeling. And I would still pick Cindy Crawford. Uh, Edgar. Jared Kendall, the four ninety nine Dodgers. Yeah, Sofia Vergara reminds me of my aunt, so I can't. I cannot. So don't get me wrong. Sofia Vergara is a gorgeous woman. But, and she's Colombian. So, I cannot. I just can't see her that way. Like, she reminds me of one of my aunt, Like, one of my aunts. And I just, I, no, no. No. Just no. Bad thoughts. Oh, Cindy's going to get it till she's a hundred million thousand. Christy Brinkley. Why does that name sound familiar? Is that the chick from, uh... Those Chevy Chase movies back in the day? Those vacation movies or whatever the fuck? And she's like in the car driving? I think. Jessica Alba's a babe. Rosaline Sanchez too. That's the one I'm thinking about, right? Real American? Yeah. Yeah, she's still hot. She does. She still looks the same minus a few, you know, wrinkles here and there. But it's all good. And Eva Mendes, oh my god. Eva Mendes could get the Charles Dickens every day. Jennifer Lopez still looks good. I don't know how old she is, but she still looks great. Have I ever watched a movie called Palmetto? I have not. Bro, Eva Mendez, I would not pull out. I saw oh mine. Put me on child support, whatever you need to, girl. But I'm going to be there for my kids. Eva Mendez, if you're listening, girl. Can I part your C's? They call me Cardboard Moses. All Braves, my man Kevin. And there's a crit. Wow. That's pretty funny. Elizabeth Hurley. Isn't that that British chick from. She thinks she's in. In that movie with the dude. Who was Encino Man. Y'all remember on Encino Man back in the day? You already know it, Tomas. I don't want to get explicit. Elizabeth Hurley. Wasn't she like the devil in some movie? She was in Austin Powers, yes. Okay, now I know. Okay, now I know. Yeah, she can get the business. She can definitely get the business. What about Carmen Electra? No love for Carmen Electra? Why did they stop making uh, movies for Austin Powers? Like, that was such a great franchise. Penelope Cruz, another babe. Oh my. Like, Penelope Cruz is just a beautiful woman. Which reminds me of another beautiful woman. Uh, Catherine Zeta-Jones. Oh, my God. I remember watching her in Zorro, and I was like, what? I thought I was bedazzled. I didn't want to say it, though, and come off like a gay boy, you know? Not that there's anything wrong with that. Anyway, uh, Cedric Mullins for the Orioles. Nothing wrong with that. I forget the guy's name, though. He was in The Mummy and shit. 
Oh, man, Selena was gorgeous, but she wasn't really an actress, though, but R.I.P. See, if we're going to go the R.I.P. route, uh, that one chick that was in, um, dang it, what's her name? I'm oh, terrible memory. Dang it. We're like, they're like in high school. The guy from Scrubs is in there. Brittany Murphy, I think is her name. R.I.P. That was another chick that was so cute. Cute as a fucking button. But also had like a, a little hit of crazy. Brandon Frazier. That's, that's my guy. You're watching Encino Man? <laughs> Dude, that movie's fucking great. Any movie with Polly Shore is a great fucking movie. Polly Shore is like a national treasure. They why why aren't there any more movies with Polly Shore? Can anybody can anybody tell me why? Albert Abreu to fifty for the Yankees, a little gold action. Brendan Frazier was like the man back in the day, dude. I remember he was man. He was in he was in the Mummy movie franchises. And, like, he did Bedazzled, and he was doing, like, a bunch of other shit. Uh, I remember he had some movie with, like, a monkey in there or something. That movie was kind of cool. And then all of a sudden, he just stopped making movies. You know what's another really hot chick that I don't think you guys would consider a hot chick, but I think she's fucking gorgeous? Uma Thurman. That's right. The, the the bride from Kill Bill. She, he was in Georgia the Jungle. That's what I was trying to think of. Talia. And again, that's a singer though, Tomas. You, you're cheating right now. An Otani paper base. If they remade The Sandlot, would you guys watch it? Since they're remaking movies like all the time these days. I think a remake for The Sandlot would be kind of cool. Uma is Poison Ivy, yeah. In that Batman movie. She's also the bride in Kill Bill. Um, and she's also uh, the wife of... Mm, dang it, what's his name? Is his name Marcellus Wiley? Or whatever his name is? Marcellus... Whatever, the, the guy from uh, from uh, Pulp Fiction. Uma Thurman's in there too. That's the one that takes the shot to, to the chess piece. Lucy Liu, hell yeah, the Charlie's Angels man. Drew Barrymore, or whatever her name is, she's hot too. Edward Olivares, that's hot for the Blue Jays. Marcellus Wallace, that's what it was. I think Marcellus Wiley is like a football player or something. Does Marcellus Wallace look like a bitch? No. So why you try to fuck him like a bitch? Yeah, you tried to fuck him. What? They speak English and what? English, motherfucker! Do you speak it? What? Say what again? Say what again? Say what one more goddamn motherfucking time. I dare you. I double dare you. Say what one more time. Matt Hall to 250. I might have blown your speakers, but damn, that movie, that's a great fucking movie. Like, when's the last time Tarantino came out with a movie? Wasn't it that uh, The Deadly Eight or something like that? I think it was the last Tarantino movie that was out. Where like they're stuck in a cabin and like they just end up murking each other. Which is pretty much every Tarantino movie. The Grindhouse movies were pretty cool. That double feature they had. Exactly, right Michael? Dude, I'm telling you. The more you watch Pulp Fiction... 
you, like you start to notice more and more little things, dude. I've seen Pulp Fiction at least twenty times, and to this day, I still notice things like that. You know that scene where Jules or, or whatever his name is was talking about Marcellus Wallace. You know, does he look like a bitch? And then he ends up getting fucked like a bitch, which, like the foreshadowing, like that movie's just great, dude. Like Tarantino is one of is one of those directors up there with Scorsese that are just the shit. Dude, Hateful Eight is a really good fucking movie. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but for me, I love movies like that. It's pretty much set in one location, and it's just straight dialogue. God dang it. Is Otani finally going to come out to play? Freaking better. Oh, my God. Angelina Jolie. Oh, boy. Yeah, those lips. Exactly. Brian Miller to 125 for the Marlins. So, do you think Brad Pitt made the right choice? Leaving Aniston... For uh, Jolie. Because, like, either way, man, like, you're winning. Hindsight and all. Like, you could not have picked a, 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 you could not have gone wrong. Christina Applegate, hells yeah. I think she was also in a movie with Cameron Diaz, man. Walton Guggins. He was the young confederate in Hateful Eight. I think I've also seen him in like other movies and too. Yeah, Michael R. For reals. And despite that, she's still a babe. Still a babe, but she could have been way more of a babe. Yeah, Christina, man, back in fucking Married with Children, she had them goddamn gazangas, boy. Hunter Green, he's on the box. So that's got to be a good card for the Reds. If he's on the box, rules dictate that it's a good card. They go Reds, numbered to four ninety nine. That's a good card. That's a good card. All right, not a bad start to the Bowman here. See if we can uh, maintain the Hunter Green mojo and maybe spread some love to other folks. And Otani paper base. It's it's one of the it's one of the the laws in in, in the breaker manual uh, that if he's on the box, if he or she is on the box, and you pull that card of that player on the box, it's probably the card. Uh, right there, another hundred green. This one's to fifty parallel. Boom. It's like chapter one of the Breaker Manual. Chapter one. How do I know if it's a good card? If his face is on the box, it's probably a good card. And that's it for the second box. You know, I thought I saw somebody outside the window here. Which 
freaked me out for a split second until I realized that I'm on the 15th floor. And if I did see somebody outside the window... It might be Nicholas. What's up, Nicholas? Who else is on the box? Raphael Davis. That would also be a good card. Send this out right now. You have no idea, Thomas. Uh, let me give this link out to this person, too. Nah, it's definitely not a window washer. Window washers don't work the weekends. Uh, sorry about that, but I had to respond to that. Did anything weird happen with Jason or something, Tomas? I mean, I know, I know this place is weird. Yeah, I was, like, I looked up, and I thought I saw, like, a face. And then I looked down, and I look, I look up again, and there was nothing there. And it's definitely not my reflection, because you can't really see my reflection with that wall of you know, shit. So I look up, I look up like in that direction, and it might have been little baby Penelope that I might have seen or something, but I look in that general direction and I, and I, I saw like what resembled a face. So I, you know, I, I thought about it for a quick second. I'm like, wait, I'm on the 15th floor. No way. And if it's a ghost, well, fuck it. Hopefully it's a cool ghost. Hopefully it's like that ghost from How High that I gotta like smoke weed to see him. And then he gives me the answers to like tests. But instead of giving me the answers to tests, he gives me like the winning lottery numbers. That'd be dope. Oh no, it's it's yeah, it's no, it's 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 definitely a friendly ghost, Tomas. It's definitely not like a mischievous or like an angry ghost. It's definitely a friendly ghost. Not ready to move on, but you know, just wants to hang out with your boys. You know, talk. You know what I'm saying? That's that's, what, and I don't blame him. I don't blame him. If I passed away, I would also, you know, want to hang around Cardboard Jesus and Cardboard Moses. You know, I don't blame them. Cardboard Ghost. CBG, Cardboard Casper. I think I like that one better. CBC, Cardboard Casper. Shake it, girl. All right, we are on box three right now. If you're keeping count, Runetto door to two fifty. The paper parallel for the Rangers. What do you call these? Blue shimmers or something? Blue waves? To 150, Eloy Jimenez of the White Sox. That's a good card. Would be even gooder with some auto on it. That number, no. 
Jordan Humphreys of the Mets, his first Bowman All. Uh, no, Tomas. No, thank you. No, thank you. Jordan Humphreys, Mets Auto. There you go. Mets on the board. What's up with those Otani Tops Now cards? They were giving them away or something, Michael? Will Smith, the gold paper parallel for the Dodgers, numbered to 50. Do oh, I mean we could we could do that, you know. If I'm under you know if I'm under the influence of 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 the Almighty Mary, you know she'll protect me, you know. But sober, fuck no. And Otani paper base there for the Angels. Did you end up getting one, Michael? There's the other auto. There it is. For the Phillies, first Bowman autograph for Spencer Howard. I need some top loaders. I was going to say, man, I want to see that Japanese kanji autograph. Has any of them, ha, ha, I haven't checked, but are any of those Bowman, uh, Kanji, Otani autographs on eBay? I, ha, I had a feeling that the Japanese autograph variation would be worth more than his regular autograph. Yeah, Tomas, I'm I'm kind of of the mindset that I agree. If I you know if I don't I can't believe it if I if I don't see it or whatever. But I 
I've also seen some shit. Nothing crazy, but I mean enough to make me think like, hmm. Well, I don't want to run the risk. <laughs> I'd rather believe it and not be real than it not be real and me not believe it. I'm not taking that chance. Uh, Nicky Delmonico to 50 for the White Sox. That's a good card. Oh, yeah, Nicholas, how, how often do you go? Do you go a lot? Is that something you're into? Cause, no, thank you. Been a pretty good uh, case so far. Going to Green, Delmonico. Let's see what else we can do. There's a paper Otani. An auto of his would be amazing. I need top loaders. Do I have any in here? Luckily, I keep a stash on deck. So I do have some. something to top a little bit. Kidding. Are they selling it for like stupid cheap Nicholas? At least? Like how much land is there? Like what's the what's the what's the square footage looking like? Forrest Whitley to four ninety nine for the Astros. You probably buy it dumb cheap and flip that thing as long as you don't mind living with ghosts. Would you guys live in a haunted place? Like in a, a haunted house or something? This tooth is starting to bother me again. Don't know if I'm going to need surgery or something for this wisdom tooth, but it is starting to get a little bit uh, annoying. I would have, I mean, never mind. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, like, it wouldn't be my first choice to live in a haunted house, but, like, I see memes or something, like, on social media, they're like, oh, you know, if, if they paid you and, and your friend or whatever, you know, X amount of money to live in this house, would you do it? Like, if you give me $10 million to sleep in a haunted house for a night, pff, no problem. Take me a quarter ounce, and th those 24 hours will go, pff go off without a hitch. Me and Casper gonna be in that thing zooted. You wouldn't do a hotel. Speaking of the hotel in the shining, uh is that is that place like operational? Like if I if I wanted to stay there, could I? He probably wouldn't, Tomas, he probably wouldn't Speaking of which, where the hell is he? And more importantly, where is Pappy? I haven't seen Pappy in God knows how long. You feel me, Michael? That's all. Just I'll, I'll make a little investment in the QP. And then I'm chilling. Four at you is here. What does his work stuff entail? I mean, he's gotta, he's, he's gotta, he's gotta stop giving out hand jobs at some point. What's up, Jacob? Sorry, you had to walk into that one. 
How are you, my man? Ripping a little Bowman right now. The man, the myth, the legend, four at you in the house. Probably, Ziggy, probably. You felt his presence? <laughs> I felt his chakra. Would I stay in the house from The Conjuring? I don't think I've ever seen The Conjuring, actually. I Listen, my only stipulation is I need to bring my QP. If I can bring my Q, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. Oh, so that's what he's doing? He's doing Uber now? No wonder. I mean, he could he could play me during the Uber drives, you know what I'm saying? I could entertain the drivers and shit with my nonsense. And the soothing sounds of... See, that, isn't that a soothing sound? Being an Uber driver must be kind of cool, though. Like, it's it might be shady because, you know, you meet... I mean, come on, you, you know, humans are pretty shady. Uh, so, there's that. Um, but, you know, you get to be your own boss, kind of. I guess it's cool. What's up, Jacob? Well, I don't know about good luck, man, but one thing I can tell you is go to ripcitycards.com. If you like what you see, register for an account, and we'll, a we'll email you a $15 off uh, discount code so you can save $15 off your first website purchase. If you are interested in what we have in store, uh, Jacob, Yu Cheng Chang to $125 for the Indians. That boy said, hell no, nah, Tomas. <laughs> I can picture him saying it, though. Like, <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Oh, that's funny. Hell no, nah, Tomas. Arthur, I mean, I'm still kind of coming down from it, but, I mean, just a little stuffy nose. That's it. I'm chilling. I feel pretty good, actually, Arthur. How about you? Walker Bueller with the rookie auto for the Dodgers. Ozzy Albie's been balling, man. Did are you in this break by any chance, Jacob? No, I don't see your name up there. There you go, Walker Bueller, Dodgers. Ozzy Albie's for the Braves doing his thing. And there's also the the Acuna main Bueller. Bueller. You're going to the Angelis game. Oh, man, that's awesome. Are you also going to get a bobby head? Sounds good, Jacob. Sounds good. Thank you for coming hanging out, man. Appreciate you. Marcelo Zuna to four ninety nine for the Cardinals. By the way, Jacob, forewarning, man, this room is rated R. I, I, actually, it's, it's more like rated NC-17. Well, who, okay, who am I kidding? This room is rated triple X. We we get we get a little nasty in here, Jacob. So if you, you know, are easily offended or anything like that, this may not be the room for you. We, we talk a lot of shit in here. All right, Jacob. All right. Just just giving you a fair warning. A little cracked ice motion to 150 John Duplantier for the D-backs. Rip City and chill, you already know.
Nice gold auto for the Astros. JB Bukowskis. There you go, Ziggy. Filler mojo coming through. Albie's going to get MVP. Damn, like that, Jacob? So you believe in the Albie's hype? That's nice. JB Bukakis. Or Bukowskis, if you want, if you if you're nasty. Number to fifty for the Astros. Not bad for a filler team. What else we got? I've seen a few episodes of Atlanta on FX. Not a bad, not a bad show. The 101 Otani has been pulled already. I thought the I thought the one that sold for fifty thousand dollars was numbered to five for out of Bowman. Uh, the 101 Otani's been pulled already. Greg Dykeman of the A's. So Please do it, Tomas. Oh, my God. You go viral so quick. You don't even know. No, no autograph, though, Jacob. We want to see some ink on it. Shohei Otani, the Angels paper base. What it do, nasty Ozasty? <laughs> Whoa, that's a raw ass name. <laughs> what up, dude? What up, my dude? Doing a little Bowman mojo here. Trying to see if we can add to the Otani party. Shohei Otani paper for the Angels. I hit a wall uh hit a Bueller autograph earlier. Isaac Paredes to two fifty for the Tigers.
A little something, something freaking nature. A little something, something. I feel like we need one more auto, or maybe I'm tripping. And there's the other auto for the Braves Christian Page or Patch, however you pronounce that. Pache goes to the Braves, though. I know that. Nice one. Boom. There you go. Uh, we're on box four, so we are at the halfway marker. All right. This is all paper. And these are the chromies and whatnot for the homies. You know, try to help my sorters out a little bit so they have something a little less to do. Uh, Nicholas, there's new products coming out every week, dog. Come on, man. I'll tell you exactly what's coming out this week. Uh, hopefully, I don't have any porn up. No, I do not. Thank God for that. That would have been embarrassing. I go to my Chrome. And I usually have some porn chilling there from the night before. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. There we go. There we go. There we go. A line. Cool. So let me pull up my little handy dandy uh, tab here of new releases. Uh, so coming up this week, we have NT Basketball coming out on the 4th. Oh boy. That's going to be fire. I believe that comes out Friday. Uh, Majestic Football coming out on the 9th, which is fanciness. Really, really fancy. Well, not really, really, but it is really fancy. Uh, that's on the 9th. Uh, Tier 1 Baseball comes out the 16th. So for next week, pretty much the biggest release, or the only release, is NT Basketball. Uh, Tomas, by the way, to answer your question, I think we have a couple more cases to put in the store of Bowman. You are welcome, sir. When will I put them up? Probably when we fill number six. I'll throw some more in the store.
Shohei Otani. Angels. What happened with Acuna? Jacob? Still no auto. Otani paper, Angels. Dansby Swanson. I was going to say, no love for Dansby Swanson? Fernando Tatis Jr. to 150 Braves. I'm sorry, Padres? Yeah, I got me thinking of the Braves. My boy knows his Padres. Padres are a farm system looking bueno, apparently. According to my, my, my peeps in the streets. Those peeps being you guys. There's another auto for Bukowskis, JB. Astros. Numbered to forty nine. Yeah, what are my Marlins doing? You know, I don't follow baseball close. You know, as close as you guys. Are the Marlins ever gonna get good again, yo? Chris Rodriguez, Angels Auto. Man, that should have been an Otani. Come on, Angels! Chris Rodriguez for the Angels autograph. Not numbered, unfortunately. I don't blame him for cleaning the house, man. You, you, you gotta... You gotta establish a new regime, which unfortunately means you gotta get rid of a bunch of people. You know, guess we're adopting the old uh, trust the process. Dude, Real Muto's like the last good player we have. <laughs> oh my god. So we're really just gonna start from scratch then. It's not like we're going to do anything this season, so we, we guess we might as well, right? Trust the process. Trust the process. Metros are the two fifty Mets. I 
Mike Soroka to 150 for the Braves. That belongs here. And I'm probably going to have to go through that stack anyway later. What's up, Rara? Trust the process and everything, I bet, is what you want to say, huh? You do what you want to do to win now. There you go, Rara. Ian Anderson of 499 Braves. Rara could not contain himself with the knowledge. There's other auto. DJ Peters for the Dodgers. What's up, Shannon Level? Uh, well, after this, uh, we're going to work on some of the more breaks that we have on our website. RipCityCards.com uh, is what we have. So we don't rip anything until all spots are sold, Shannon. Uh, so check our website. And if you like what you see, register for an account and you can save $15 on your first purchase. My, you need to see bloodshed, Nicholas. The hell? You got in the optic break, the optic break. Like you bought a personal box, Shannon? I gotta check the store uh, when I get a chance. There you go, Rara. That's how you do it. One man's trash is another man's Rara. Oh, you picked up some uh, optic blasters. You bought them before Shannon, 
or let me see let me check the store real quick excuse, excuse me I gotta refresh this a bit yep Yes, Edgar, this is still number five. I'm checking something real quick in the store here. Oh, on eBay. Oh, okay, gotcha, Shannon. Yeah, our eBay stuff, if you please... By the way, please read the description of the listing, guys. Uh, not just Shannon, everyone else. Always read the description of the listings. A lot of good information is there. You know, we just don't type that up just for shits and giggles. Uh, we start our eBay breaks at midnight, Shannon, and we follow the schedule that is listed. All right. So our first eBay break will be Donruss Basketball. God, I hate that stuff. Uh, then Diamond Kings, then Elite Extra Edition. Then Optic Basketball Blasters, then Score Football, and then our last eBay break is Unparalleled Football. Our eBay break start at midnight Eastern Time, uh, which is a uh, little under two hours uh, from now. That's 1.15 local time here, uh, Eastern Time. So we start our breaks at midnight for eBay. And we follow the schedule that is listed uh, in the description uh, of each listing. So if I had to give you a time for the op optic blasters, uh, Shannon, I would I would guess maybe like one in the morning, maybe one thirty in the morning around that time. Uh, but our eBay breaks do start at midnight Eastern time, and they just follow the schedule that we have. Yeah, Edgar, I'm not really looking forward to it. Really, uh, some of that stuff takes forever. Tomas, are you drunk or something, dog? What you doing over there? Yeah, a lot of sorting to do. You have no idea. And from what I can see, PYT number six uh, was a little close to filling too. So we could actually rip that right after this, guys. Uh, ladies and gents. Let me see, where's that? Yeah, PYT number six is at eight teams left. Eight teams left in PYT number six. All right, let me uh, finish PYT five, though. Taylor Clark to 499 Diamondbacks. You know, tiny paper base for the Angels. You asked the question for me, Tomas. Where do you sell them at, Ra Ra? On the eBay? I know you love eBay. He probably sells that shit on fucking... Whoa! What is that? I don't think I've seen that before. What is that? Is that, is that like a short print or something? I don't think I've ever seen a, an autograph with that on there. On the bottom of it, check that out. Brendan McKay of the Rays. That's a good card. Looks like a short print or something. That's pretty cool. 
Oh, shit. That's what it is. Oh, what the fuck? Number 24 out of 25. Wow. Rays and the Reds. What a sick-ass card that is. Holy fuck. Dude, there's a Hunter Green and a Brendan McKay Auto. Wow. And I don't even have to worry about randoming it because my man did his research. Rays and the Reds going to my man Carl. Man, you took a gamble and it paid major. That is a great card. Damn. This break has been pretty good. This case has been pretty good. Especially if your name is Carl. That's one card. Dual prospect autograph. And yep, sure enough, as I look up, after I say it, Ra Ra types it in. Or maybe Ra Ra typed it in before I I don't know, whatever. Oh, no, that's an actual card, Edgar. It, like Ra Ra said, it's a dual prospect auto card. I just had never seen it before. Until now. Now we just gotta hit the Otani man. Shohei Otani Angels paper. Out of all the cases I've done, this is probably the best one. Could be a hot box. You know, we still need two more autographs, or maybe they're going to give us one auto card because the other one's a dual auto. I hope not. But let's find out. Noah Syndergaard to the 499 Mets. Two prospects, one cup. Oh, God. That just sounds wrong. Rara's been saving all the jokes until I came, huh? Are, are you a sassy with uh, when, when CBJ is here, Rara? Or do you leave all the all the set all the sassiness for for Uncle Jesse? Oh, Michael, I, I can only imagine. All right, Jacob. I can only imagine. I, I can only man. Somebody hear me. What's that card selling for on eBay? That dual auto. You know, there's only twenty four. A few thousand bucks. Awesome. Ryan McMahon to four ninety nine for the Rockies. No auto on the back of that one. Rockies, another filler team putting in work. Why do I keep doing that? Rara is like dad scold. So Rara also scolds Jesus. Okay, as long as it's just not me getting the scolding, make makes me feel a little bit better about myself. I can only imagine what he tells Jason though. <laughs> Nick Prado to 499 Royals. So I gotta that's why I gotta look at the checklist, man. My dude checked my dude uh looked at the checklist, seen that the dual autograph was Raise Reds got both teams. Always do your research, kids. Of course, it's always a gamble, but if you do your research, you can you can make a uh, in you know informed gambles, if you will. You're fairly tame with CBJ. Ah, oh, see, Ra Ra, you gotta rattle that cage, man. You gotta rattle that cage.
And we got time before the eBay break start at midnight. Uh, last I checked, PYT number six had eight teams left in the store. So let's get that thing down to zero tonight so we can just rip another, another case of this thing. Get some more Bowman in your life. Got two boxes left out of the case. I need to go blow my nose. Among other things. <laughs> Brendan McKay to 250 for the race. Ah, oh, see, that's that bullshit. You guys, man, Rara knows. Like, Jason is basically me, except not, not as outspoken. But he's definitely a degenerate, just like we are. Ra Ra, tell you. Yeah, it's numbered one out of two fifty. The uh, Brandon McKay. So eBay one hundred one, if you will. So they didn't uh, short us an autograph. Michael Mercado. Ray's putting in work. The first pros uh, first Bowman auto right there for him. CBJ said his favorite beer is Steel Reserve. Enough said, dude. I right, bro. I had uh, what teams are in the filler. Uh, Edgar, the teams that are in the filler are the ones. Uh, oh, for number six? I don't know. It's the last remaining teams. Uh, you have to check the website to see what's remaining because I'm focused on this right here. But when I checked for a split second, it said eight teams left. Not sure what the teams are, though. Orioles Hunter Harvey, 225. Dude, I had some steel reserve actually. I thought of Jason. I was like, hmm, steel reserve. I you know I hear Jason talks about this from time to time. Let me buy a four pack or a five or I think I bought like a four pack. And f not not for nothing, no disrespect to, to to the Jesus, but Steel Reserve is fucking disgusting. For me anyway. Not not a fan. Not a fan. Right. I'm not gonna take that trash out. I want to, Rara. Is it any good? Really, Rara? You might have to take a look see. I'm still debating whether or not I should rewatch the entire series of Game of Thrones. Because I, I pretty much. I've seen the entire series in like. You know, like in one go, you know? I, I didn't watch it. I wasn't keeping up to, up to date with it, you know what I mean? Like most people must have been throughout the years. You know, I just saw, like, the, what was it, like, the first seven seasons or something like that? I just knocked them out in a, you know, within a few week, months. And I kind of want to rewatch it again, because I'm sure there's a lot of stuff I missed. And that story can get a little crazy.
King Cobra is another beer. King Cobra in a brown paper bag. Oh, man. Well, I know not to try that. Or maybe I'll try it just to see if I like it. I might like it. Who knows? The cheapest beer possible? Oh, man. You know what they say, uh, Tomas. Lo barato sale caro. A little, a little Spanish for y'all. Alright, what do we have here? A little DJ Stewart for the Orioles to 250 Andres Jimenez of the Mets with probably one of the laziest autos. That's number two one fifty. There you go, Mets. You already know Tomas. To 150, Clint Frazier of the Yankees. That's a pretty cool looking card. You know, I kind of, kind of want to make my own beer. I had Pabst Blue Ribbon before. It's not bad, actually. But yeah, I would like to make my own beer. I think they sell like beer making kits or something. I forgot where. I had a customer once got it for like Christmas. They were telling me. Stephen Dugar, the two fifty for the Giants. You know, make my own special brew. Sutter Molly to four ninety nine Reds. Every time. 
Yeah, there's not many local breweries in Miami. But, you know, up up north, like Central Florida, things like that, there there's a few. Shohei Otani, paper for the Angels. Still awaiting that auto. Jordan Hicks of the Cardinals with an autograph. Kevin, your filler team hit for you, bruh. Filler teams, that's what they do. Jordan Hicks auto for the Cardinals, numbered to 250. Tiny paper base for the Angels. Tuki Toussaint to 49 Braves. We should be getting uh, one more auto, I believe. What does be? Isaac. Paredes to 125 for the Tigers. Come on. Dude. We need a one more auto. There it is. For the A's, Greg Dykeman, the autograph. Grab a growler. What's a growler? There you go, freak of nature. I'm on that good cushion I got hop. I got some down bit you down about. I don't know what I would do without y'all. I'm about to the day I fall. Hey, long as that, long as freak got his freaks. I don't know. One thing I do know is this is the last box of boom. So I'm curious, what teams are left in number six? We got Astros left, the Brewers, Giants, Indians, Mariners, Red Sox, and the Tigers. It's a brown jug of beer. You take it to a local brewery and they fill them up. Nice. I hear Milwaukee is a good place to go for like, for that, for local breweries and stuff. 
So Astros, Brewers, Giants, Indians, Mariners, Red Sox, Rockies, and the Tigers are left in Bowman number six. Let's fill that up. Let me see if I have any teams taken. Well, probably not because they would have updated on the, on the website. I don't know, Edgar, I'd, I'd have to put the prices together. And I don't have all that info right now on me. But uh, the filler would basically be the price of all of them. Uh, I add up the price of all remaining teams, divide by the amount of teams remaining, and that'll give me the average price for the filler. finish this though and then we'll put the filler together and all that stuff we do have an ebay break at midnight uh, so once our ebay break start we can't do no more score stuff after that and once i'm done with the ebay breaks i'm gonna call it a night uh have a meeting to come uh to go to fairly early and I don't leave this office until 5 or 6 in the morning not that you guys care but you know I, I would like to get some kind of sleep before this meeting and then you know go live and talk to y'all and do it all over again baby living the dream alright let's see what's in this last box hopefully we got uh, something dreamy good luck everybody For the Giants, Sandro Fabian, first Bowman Auto. How'd you know, Rara? Did Jason tell you? Uh, no, Edgar, we have an office. We don't have a storefront, but we do have an office. Well, we're live every day at 6 o'clock, Freaking Nature. So I might come in earlier than that, but we're always live at 6 o'clock. Not that there's a new release tomorrow or anything, I just, you know. Yeah, the online store, the online store is what we have. We don't have a, an actual physical store where people could just come and go as they please. No, we, we have an office. This guy, Ra Ra. <laughs> well, Ra Ra, it doesn't happen very often, but you're actually wrong, sir. But not a bad guess. TJ Zyke or Zooch to four ninety nine for the Blue Jays. Who do? Who does you, Edgar? That sucks. The world's greatest detective. I don't have an ankle mo <laughs> an ankle monitor. <laughs> no, that that's done, man. Nowadays they just put a chip in you and they just track you from like like that. You know, ankle monitors are obsolete. It's twenty. It's two thousand eighteen. I can just put a chip in you and track you that way.
Nice. A Chrome Prospect Autograph Refractor Parallel of Ru Lewis Robert. That's a White Sox player. That's a nice card. That's true, uh, Edgar. That is true. Lewis Robert, White Sox autograph. That's a good one. This case has been pretty good, honestly. I could, I mean, who knows? There's Lewis Robert. But you got to redeem that auto. So exclusive that it must be redeemed. Downstairs at the cut at the Scott Street. <laughs> Rara knows too well. Nick sends out a four ninety nine for the Reds. Yeah, I ain't open up no IRA. Hex now, nah, dog. I keep all my cash in my mattress where it's safe. Anyway. The Edgar Rara, I have no idea what you guys are Fleeing the country in the morning. Yep, going to Japan. Later, bitches. Traded Otani for me. That's that's really what happened. Y'all didn't know. The Japanese government traded Otani for Cardboard Moses. You know it. Freaking nature... That is to pursue my dream of being a porn star, which I think I can make it in Asia. Oh, yeah, exactly, Edgar. Fresh off the boat. Going to go rinse them off, you know, get all the sand off of them. And then teach them. You see, this is a base card, all right, Manolo? This is also a paper base card. We know ship these. You know, they gotta teach them English, you know what I'm saying, man? Too much work, too much work, now that I think about it. I believe we get one more auto to go. Who's it going to? The suspense is killing me! Because it's been a pretty good case, man. Otani, you gonna come out finally? Really, Rara? Ra, so do it. Do it. And the last auto looking like Lewis Escobar. For the pirates. You know, pirates get a hit. Paper here. Colton Welker to one twenty five for the Rockies. Is it really freaking nature? That'd be pretty crazy. And that's going to do it for the break. I was falling asleep there. I didn't think I'd ever be done. But we made it. Oh, we made it. All right. Recap time. And as you all know, we only recap the autos around here. 
Uh, but I'm kind of going to do a little separating here. Go in, uh, in some kind of order. That was, well, that's a good card, but that's not the one I was. There, I left it at the end already. Okay, cool. So there's that. Doom, doom. All right, here we go. Recap time. Good luck, everybody. So, Luis Escobar, Pirates. Sandro Fabian, Giants. Greg Dykeman, A's. Michael Mercado, Rays. Ryan McMahon, Rockies. DJ Peters, Dodgers. Chris Rodriguez, Angels. JB Bukowski, uh, Astros. Christian Pache, Braves. Walker Bueller, Dodgers. Spencer Howard, Phillies. Jordan Humphreys, Mets. Edward uh, Olivares, Blue Jays. The Freaks come out for Bowman, Tomas. Cedric Mullins, Orioles. Andres Jimenez, Mets. Nicky Delmonico, White Sox. Hunter Green for the Reds. Jordan Hicks, Purple. Cardinals. Andres Jimenez, Blue, Mets. Nicky Delmonico, Gold, White Sox. J.B. Bukowski, Gold, Astros. A Chrome Prospect Autograph Refractive Parallel of Lewis Robert, which goes to the White Sox. Redemption Style. That's a good card. Uh, Ivandel Isabel. Dodgers. Didn't mean to have him back there. And quite honestly, probably the sickest card I've ever seen in Bowman. A Hunter Green, number 24 out of 25. And a Brendan McKay. Dual Prospect Autograph. God, that's nice. Yep, you you are you your eyes are not deceiving you. That is indeed two autographs on one card. You see, that is disgusting. That is disgusting. That's got to be a few thousand dollars right there. And that's the break. Uh, before I finish, though, there is one last little thing I do got to do. And that is the $100 giveaway. So let's go ahead and roll the die. We're going to go lucky number seven. I'm going to go ahead and give away this break credit, $100 break credit. Not, a, not giving away $100, but I am giving away $100 break credit. All right. Let's put it on the screen. Is it this one? No, it's not, but it is that one. All names right there. We're going to random it seven times. Top name in the list wins a $100 break credit. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. That's twice. We're going seven times. And the money shot seven. Good luck. Boom. Seven times. My man, Kevin. Kevin D. Finna win a hundred dollars break credit. Congrats, my man. I'm gonna go ahead and email that to you, bro. And that, my friends, was where is it? No, 